Hey, welcome back to Skyblock, where I think we might be closer than I think to finishing. I've been looking through a lot of the stuff for this ATM star, and I think I'm very close to being done. Obviously I have to wait a while to get a ton more Inferium. Uh, I still need to wait a while to get all the antimatter that I need. But after having upgraded the bees, and yeah, I've got 15 of every bee in there now, which required a very significant upgrade of my uh, centrifuges, I've ended up with a lot of unobtainium. <laughs> Definitely enough to keep going. And actually, I think I mostly need this all in block form. Yes, a stack of blocks is going to be enough, for sure. Same with the all the modium, but... I have a suspicion that I was basically there already. Either way, there's another stack of blocks. And vibranium, yeah. I have no idea why I'm producing more vibranium than the other two. But, real quick, I want to do something that I've been dying to do the whole time between videos. Ah. I can repair my pickaxe. Finally. I can repair the others, but, yeah. Despite that, I'm generating so much unobtainium now, I still don't want to waste it. Anyway, that then solves all 15 of these old modium alloy blocks. Actually, why don't I make them now? I have to do it ingot at a time, but I can do it in the casting or the smeltery. So yeah, just one to one. Oh, right. I need a piglitch heart for every ingot. 60 seconds to cool! Holy shit, this is gonna take a year. I knew I needed a lot of piglet charts, and I have somewhat prepared for that. I made this unobtainium sword with a lot of really cool apothesis um, enchantments on them, because I did have a ton of enchanted books, not anymore, because I took all of the good ones, put it on this sword, and converted the rest of them into XP so that I could try and enchant the stuff I needed for scavenger, and that's also why I've run out of XP. But I have it now, so looting 5 plus scavenger 3, that's pretty good. And just testing it out, I managed to get 30 piglet hearts. I thought I only needed like, I don't know, 40 or something? But what would that be? 15 times 9? 135. So, I've got a little under a third of what I need. Uh, anyway, I'll get onto that later. Because I can probably make a handful of these things now. Well, I can definitely make the Oblivion Shard. So there's that. What's its reward? That was very nearly the sword that I was just trying to make. But it's got less looting and it doesn't have scavenger on it. So I'll just put it up with the rest of them. And the shard goes in the pack. What's next? I can't get the Wither's Compass yet, because I need to wait for the Antimatter. I still haven't even gotten one yet. Nexium Emitter. I should be able to make... Oh, okay, maybe not. I don't know how to get this Antimatter yet. With everything else, I can probably just put through the crafting recipes and be fine. You know, I may as well do that. So Pulsating Black Hole takes all of this. I think I've already got the Quantum Catcher. I don't have the Quantum Ring. No, it's just the Quantum Catcher. And I'll make the recipes for the Unobtainium Block two times. And I may as well make the recipe all the way down to the Ingot because I just generate Nuggets. I don't actually generate Ingots. And then there's Emmy Quantum Ring. Oh, I'm, I already have a recipe for everything except the Energy Cell. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. And Energy Cell is simple enough. The Quantum Entangle Porter. I have a recipe for most of that. Just the refined obsidian, which I do manually. And then the big one is the nuke. This is a very big recipe chain. Ah, oh, yeah, the canning. Forgot about that. Oh, well, that's fine, I can do that manually. Oh, and compressing. Do I make recipes in the canner? I'm not sure. There's still other recipes here for me to automate anyway. How do I get rubber? Smelting slime. Okay. Industrial grade metal is smelting iron. Easy enough. 
And the machine block is pretty complicated. We're gonna need to make this compressor. Advanced alloy. I need this mixed metal blend. I'm not sure which one of these to go for, but it looks like I've got all the things already. I've got iron dust. Don't know if the others. I think I'll just do that manually. Machine block. Should have everything other than the fuse. Same with fuse. I've got everything I need for that. This nuke is a very complicated recipe. And I may as well make a recipe for TNT. Why not? I quickly need to put all of this in before I run out of space. Let me see. What am I missing for this? Oh, I'm actually missing quite a lot of unobtainium. Hmm. Well, it, it doesn't take too long to get 7,000 nuggets. I only need four iron rods and two advanced alloy. Only 16 uranium fuel rods? I would have expected more. 20 dense copper plates. Two carbon plates. I forgot to do the recipe for that. Oh no, that's why, because it's a compressing thing. Well then, what do I need for this compressor? <laughs> I have what I need for it. I'm running out of room for manual machines. How do I get power into this compressor? I think it just doesn't accept mechanism cables. Yeah, I think I have to use these special cables. And they don't connect to the mechanism ones. Would they connect to an energy cube? Yes. Why is the power not going in then? Okay, what does the book say? Generators, cables, and battery boxes will connect to FE using blocks and will automatically convert the zaps. Oh, other way round. So I have to generate zaps. Well then, I can't hook it up to my existing systems. I mean, I already need a solar panel for something, so I may as well make those. Oh, they are their own complicated. Let's just do LV. Let's see if I can manage that. Right. LV solar panel it generates one zap per tick. Okay, I can power the compressor now. Oh, now it's slowed down because I'm not generating enough power. Okay, two more solar panels ought to be enough. Right, that's the compressor. I need a canner. Canning machine. Can I make that? Yeah, I've got ten. Right, canning machine. I think I needed two nukes total. So that's 32 uranium fuel rods. Uranium dust, I can get that easily. Fluid cell. Ah, it has to be full of water already. Oh, that's real easy. Can I use it like a bucket? Yep. So then this should make all of the fuel rods that I need. Okay, so I'm making the dense copper plates and I'm making the uranium. What else do I need for a nuke? Carbon plates. And that takes a carbon fiber mesh, which takes carbon fibers, turn all of that into carbon fiber mesh, and then that gets compressed. Then iron rods, that's easy. I need, what? I need eight, I'll get 16, why not? Maybe I need more nukes. Then I need this mixed metal blend, and I've got none of it. I think bronze would be the easiest for me to do. I'll just crush my bronze. And then I'll do the same with aluminium. And then that's 15 mixed metal blend. And that's the advanced alloy. And I think I've got enough. Yeah, I've got enough for one nuke. Nice. So then what do I need for the black hole? I need to wait for one more antimatter. I need to figure out how to get the FTB antimatter. Full refined obsidian. And wait for an obtainium. So, how do I get FTB antimatter? Antimatter constructor? It just uses zaps to create antimatter. A million zaps though! Jeez! <laughs> Takes a nether star, that's probably the most expensive part here. Advanced machine block, I think I've got a recipe for that. Iridium circuit, I do not. Although... How do I get iridium? Oh. Wait. Iridium alloy? I need an iridium ingot. How do I get iridium? And there's graphene. Seems like it might be complicated, or not. It's just this iridium. Looks like I can find it in the end. That might be my, my best bet. It's found between Y5 and 69. I'm definitely in that range. It must be quite rare if I can't seem to find it anywhere. Hmm. 
Well, according to Reddit, it's just extraordinarily rare, but there is a workaround. Because with Chemlib, I can make Iridium? So if I just dissolve iron? Is that just iron and light blue dye? Hang on, I'm gonna go back home and try this. I'm most curious about dissolving light blue dye. What does that net you? It does net you what you need. Because this antimony trioxide is what gives antimony. Then I need this fusion controller. And that sounds complicated. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be expensive. Oh, yeah. Okay, fusion o multi block. Oh, boy. It's, uh, it's a bit big, but nothing seemed too terribly hard about making this. Now, does it tell me how much power this uses? It doesn't tell me how much power, just a lot of power. Well, I need to make these reactor casings. And I specifically need the Chemlib Osmium? And the Platinum Osmium? I don't know about that. It seems like these are just kind of broken. However... Yep. <laughs> I can turn the blocks into the alternate metal blocks. And then turn... Oh no, I cannot. Ah, yes I can. 60 reactor casing. And the reactor glass is made in the combiner? I think I'll just do all casings then. So how much do I need for the multi-block? I'm not going to be using any glass. So then... 98? Reactor casing? I've got two stacks, that's definitely enough. So I just need to make the fusion chamber controller. Fusion cores... Tungsten? How do I get tungsten? Seems to be another chemlib thing. Well, how do I get tungsten? <laughs> dissolving stone bricks. I think just dissolving stone. Yeah. It's rare, but if I just dissolve a ton of stone... Oh no, netherite gives me a ton of it. Okay. So does that mean netherite is just tungsten? Gold, carbon, and tungsten combined. Hmm. Let's just put through a stack of it. Why not? I won't need too many fusion cores. I think I needed three? Yeah, three. And then I needed reactor energy input. I don't need the item input and output. Because I can do that presumably in a GUI that it has. And I don't need to automate this. It's just to make a little bit of iridium. And if I just smelt some tungsten dust, I can make the three fusion cores that I need. Okay, I think I've got everything that I need to make the fusion reactor. Fusion chamber, whatever it is. I may as well put it back with the rest of the reactors. Except this one doesn't seem to be so big. This shouldn't be too hard to make. The controller goes there. Yeah, it's a little backwards. I'm probably going to take this down in, in time. I don't know where the energy goes, presumably anywhere that would have casings. Well, it looks like the reactor's done. I just need to hide the visualization because I didn't put glass in. So if I just hook it up to power, does it work? It's got power in it. It doesn't have a GUI or anything. You know, I'm going to make this input and output. It's not too hard to make. I'll do input there, output there. I'm just gonna assume it's fine and put in the things that I need. So presumably, if I just put the stuff in, I'll just take it out? How? Maybe I should have made some glass to see what's going on. Well, it's taken all of my stuff. Is it doing anything? It's not consuming any energy by the looks of things. So that makes me think it's not doing anything. I have no idea how this works. As far as I'm aware, this is exactly what I need to do. I have a suspicion that because I briefly broke the multi-block, it might have lost the materials. Do I need multiple inputs? How does this work? Oh no, it still remembers, because it's full. Does it just take a while? Oh yeah, I can see it's got iron and antimony in there. 
Why isn't it doing anything? It's definitely made the reactor multi-block. And it has power. I really hate being in the dark here. And I know I'm kind of cheating to do this. I just need to see what's going on in there. If anything is happening at all. It still doesn't seem to be working. What if I put the controller here? And if I put the stuff back in it? Is anything happening at all? It's not taking energy anymore. I guess the energy just can't be on the same side as the, the controller. Why is it not doing anything? I've made the multi-block. It's got an input and an output. It's got energy. I have an idea. If I split this into two different inputs, it doesn't work. I have no idea what is wrong with this. Hey, future me here with an actually functional reactor. Uh, at the time of recording, I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it, so I ended up cheating past it. I've done all the hard work, the mod just isn't working. Uh, the problem was that the input and the output can't be in the main 3x3 face where the controller goes. So all previous instances of me cheating have been reversed, as you can see by me not actually having any glass in this anymore. So rest easy that I'm back to being legit. Anyway, on with the video. I'm just gonna make my iridium eight dust. If I smelt it into the ingot, then I need to turn it into, oh my God, it makes one alloy at a time. Jeez, but I can use that to make the iridium circuits. Oh, I need to make a few more advanced alloys. There we go, that's a bunch more advanced alloy. And I can make the antimatter condenser <laughs> or constructor actually. And if I just leave that, <laughs> maybe it'll just eventually fill up. I mean, that's not that slow. Make a million? That's not that bad. And I shouldn't need much. I think I need three? Yeah, I need three. So I'll just leave this running for a while. I hope that's everything that I need to do for FDB. So then pulsating black hole. Just need to wait for unobtainium. Wait for antimatter. And that's it. I've got everything that I need for it. Okay. That's one thing. And that's taken up most of my <laughs> recording time, actually. I think I can afford to at least make the recipe for some of these other things. Like the improbable probability device. I've already got most of that, actually. Advanced monitor, I can make that easy. Charm of knowledge, potion of ancient knowledge. Need bottles of enchanting, yeah, I can make that. The last thing is this advanced solar panel which is a massive crafting chain. I'm just gonna have to go down the line of every single one of these solar panels. And this is immensely compressed. So what do I need? I need a lot of cobblestone. That's apparent. Is that to make all the glass? <laughs> yep, I need a lot of glass. I need a bunch of electrum. A lot of steel, a little bit of aluminium, a little bit of signalum, a lot of lead, a lot of invar, a lot of redstone, a little bit of endurium. Not as much as I thought, honestly. And invar's easy enough. Lead, I've already got a ton of it. Steel, eh, might be a little annoying, but I can manage. Electrum, same, easy enough. And charm of knowledge. I can do that. I'll just make the Charm of Knowledge now. So I should only need three potions. The difficulty is in getting the Bottle of Enchanting. I might just do this Infusion Enchanting, actually. Put my setup there again. I'll ignore the Melon Shelves, though, because I, I don't need to subtract the Quanta. And that should be... Whew, yeah, big stats. I can do the level 100 Infusion. Do I want level 100? I'll just do the level 21. So I'll just take down the Eterna a bit. Ooh, I don't quite have enough Arcana. I've got enough Quanta. This one just requires level 54. I'll just run the mob farm for a while. Get a bunch of fluid XP. Actually, no, you can't just bottle it. Okay. If, I'm, if I was gonna do level 54, I may as well go all the way to level 60 infusion. Wait, actually, I can just do the level 21 multiple times. Or level 31. Yeah. I think I only needed two, or not. 
I made an awkward... Oh, I made a mundane potion. Yeah, and then I just do two bottles of enchanting on this. And hopefully it makes the stuff that I need, and I can make the Charm of Knowledge. And I'll turn off the mob farm because I don't need that running, there's already enough endermen in my base. But there's the Charm of Knowledge too. So then to make the improbable probability device... I need a lot of redstone. I need cobblestone. I might just add an import bus to the existing generator. And all the nuggets. Some of that I might actually be able to do now? I'm not sure. No, let me just see. I do have some signal ingots. I don't know if that's enough nuggets. I've got lumium. That's definitely enough. I only needed four. I think I needed multiple thousands of electrum. I absolutely have enough enderium. Yeah, so I just need to make a bunch of electrum. A little bit more signalum. Make a bunch of lead. A bunch of invar. Gather a bunch more redstone. A bunch more steel, yeah. All stuff that I've done before, and I, I just need to do it again. All stuff that I can do between videos. So then, probably next time in the next video, at the start, I'll be able to make a pulsating black hole and an improbability, improbable probability device. And then the next emitter, the EV solar panel, seems like it'll be the most work here, and maybe the netherite block times four. So I'm not quite done with FTB yet, but again, this is just a giant crafting chain. I think I'm close. This video was doing the remaining FTB stuff. Next video, I'll probably make this pressure chamber and I might be able to make everything I need for this. I don't know. I am very close. So much of what's left is just waiting, waiting for antimatter, either kind, waiting for unobtainium to generate. I'm close. This was very significant progress. And it's opened up a lot more for me to do between videos, a lot more resource gathering. <sighs> I'm nearly there. I'll probably continue doing pig glitch grinding as well between videos. Because you don't need to see that. I've shown how to kill one pig glitch. Yeah, I don't feel like there's anything else that I can really cram into this video. So, I'm gonna leave it there. Bye.